Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery, my buddy Larry Bielman, Bielman Construction in Alameda. Uh, what we're doing is, I'm actually here uh, uh, for some advice and some wood, but as I was here I see they already tore this off. And here's what I tell folks, I've been telling you guys this for years, if you want to do a little patch, we can do a little patch, but we, we're not responsible for what we don't take off. So they did patches throughout the house, and instead of going all the way, which they should have, they're going all the way now. Larry will uh, show you guys, or explain some of this stuff here, like say what you got right there. What is that, Larry? Look. Right there, that hole you see up there, that's where an old tile scupper, and scuppers with a, they now use for rain gutters. In the old days, they just put a round tile tube there. And now it's real common, so that thing leaked a little bit. Water got down here, but where most of the damage came is the moisture attracts the termites. And uh, so whenever you got a leak like that, which is real common when you have a penetration like that, it's pretty impossible to uh, seal it where it's not going to let some water get in there. And uh, actually the moisture attracts the termites. Let's yeah. walk around. Go ahead. Let's walk around. Uh, sorry to cut you off, buddy. But we're going to show you guys a couple other things here. Whoa. Yeah, we got, you can point out this wall right here, Jay, and you can see when you, when you just fix a little area, what happens, uh, best to take it all off, guys. I'm showing that other scupper on this other and side. Before Jay, I want you to point up there, that's the hole that we just saw a little while ago. So that's the old terracotta, what they used to use now, they used, they used metal. And uh, when we did look at this job, when I was bidding this job, they only called for me to remove certain parts of the stucco. And I got Kirk by here, and we could see where they had already done some patching. And I told the customer, I said, no, all the stuff should come off. Because, as Kurt says, it's going to leak again. You can't prevent it from leaking if you don't take it all off and repaper the whole thing. Good so, call, buddy. Good it. call. And over there where we have flashing details, that failed. But, you know, for as old as the house is, what do you expect? Last thing we'll do is we'll show you folks over here. Um, scuppers. Scuppers are notorious for leaking. It's kind of like when they put in uh, uh, electrical outlets and don't patch them when they remove them. Oh yeah. And last piece over here, guys. This is give you guys an idea of what you're looking at when, when you see uh, old stucco on houses and you try to determine what needs to come off. You see right there where that sill leaked and that's what happens. It, congregates in one spot so uh, right there at the floorboard man those look pretty bad anyhow guys uh, it's just a quick show of what you can expect sometimes this is uh, I don't know I wouldn't call it worst case scenarios but it's it's pretty bad but Larry here is doing the second story addition for these folks so it's the best of both worlds for them they'll remove everything get it all fixed up and then have some great living space above Larry pleasure buddy same here all right. See you next we time. thank you folks for watching and uh, you guys want to see anything just comment and we'll on the next job or so we'll show you exactly what you asked for. And by the way, folks have been asking me for this, so Larry's job presented a great opportunity to show you. Anyhow, my name's Kirk, Larry Billman, Jason on the camera. As usual, we thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.